So, should we start by getting you on my scales? Yes. Come, on, come with me. Gareth's 5 foot 11 frame is carrying an enormous 31 stone, giving him a BMI of 59.7. So does that upset you? Yes, it does, yeah. I thought it was less than that, but... You're 40% body fat. Mm. Right. In real terms, that's nearly 80 kilos of just fat tissue. Yeah. You don't need a medical degree to know that. No. It's You're in trouble. So let's start. I think we need to get you some proper dietary advice so that we can start turning your diet around. Mm. OK? Yes. Later, we'll discover if specialist advice can help Gareth regain control of his diet and his bowels. Dr Don has sent Gareth to dietitian Priya Tu to discuss his eating habits and get his weight and hopefully diarrhoea under control. So, Gareth, I've looked at your food diary and here are the foods that you ate on that day. They would all be for dinner. So this is one meal, yes. basically. Gareth's body is struggling to digest one huge sugar hit each day, which could be the cause of his diarrhoea. Priya wants him to try three smaller and healthier meals per day. I've substituted your white rolls for a brown bread sandwich because brown products have something called a lower glycemic index, so they help keep your blood sugar levels more stable. All foods containing carbohydrate are ranked by their effect on blood sugar and absorption into the body. The lower their glycemic index, the slower their absorption. This means that insulin levels remain stable, which reduces food cravings. The lowest indexed foods include whole grains, beans and most fruit and veg. Trying to get into the habit of switching from white products to brown products. Later on, we'll find out if Gareth's new diet has dealt with his toilet troubles. Extreme eater Gareth came to see Dr Don for help with his diarrhoea. Although he's still battling his weight, his new healthy diet has helped to terminate those trots. So, Gareth, when I saw you last time, you were getting a lot of problems. And by your own admission, after you'd had bouts yeah. of eating very unhealthily, of quite explosive diarrhoea. How is that? I do get the odd bout still, but at least that's what once a fortnight now. So, where, where was, if I remember right, it was one, once a week, but it's now once a fortnight. So, that's improved. Mm. You've clearly changed your diet and you're eating less processed food. Mm. And as a result, the diarrhoea is improving. Yeah. OK. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Mm. So, you know, I don't want to take away from the fact that actually your, your overall diet is healthy or healthier. Mm. It's just there's still clearly too much of it. Yeah. So you need to be really quite tough with yourself mm. about reducing your intake and increasing your exercise. You've got to be tough. And don't give up on it, Gareth. You know, it's, I'm not going to give up on it. Don't, because it's got serious implications for your health. Mm. OK, take care. All the best. Thank you, Tom.